Hey there, beautiful mama. Listen, we are going to go through the next 40 weeks of your beautiful pregnancy journey. My name is Diane. I am your healthy pregnancy advocate. So let's get started. Okay, let's have a conversation about what you can expect during your pregnancy. You have 40 weeks here, 40 weeks to grow this beautiful baby inside you. You are going to experience some amazing things. You're going to have ups and downs. Uh, and you know those symptoms are going to be coming and going, mostly staying, <laughs> right? But they will go eventually. And it's just going to be the most amazing journey. And I'm so excited to be a small part of it with you. So in the next 10 minutes or so, this is time for you. Just relax, grab yourself your favorite mug. Fill it up with some tea or water and just sit back with me and enjoy yourself. Listen to some things that I have to share with you. And you know what? Like I said, take this time for you. It's, it's your time. You deserve to have 10 minutes out of the day to relax and learn about what's going on with your body. Okay. So because my little um, sweet spot or expertise is about meditation and affirmation, that's what we'll do. Let's start off with a little affirmation. I'll share some tips and information with you after that, some stories from other mums, and then we'll end with the meditation again as well, okay? Hey there, I'm Diane, and I am your healthy pregnancy advocate. Your beautiful pregnant body is going through a lot of changes right now, and if you're like most women, that kind of freaks you out, right? Well, have no fear. Over the last 20 plus years, I've helped thousands of mums to enjoy a relaxed, calm, and confident pregnancy. And now, it's your turn. Okay, ready? If you like, you can close your eyes, focus on something pretty in front of you, a picture or a flower, or just listen and watch me, okay? Either way, if you're gonna close your eyes, we're gonna do some deep breathing right now, okay? In through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Just feel yourself relax. In through your nose. Feels good, right? You feel your body relaxing as you do that. Today, the word we're going to focus on is calm. You feel peaceful and calm right at this very moment, right? I want you to continue breathing slowly and deeply while I repeat a few affirmation words for you. I want you to feel this calmness resonate throughout your whole body, right from your head to your toes. Okay, if you like, you can repeat the affirmation with me or just listen to it silently. And you can do this anytime you want today. Anytime you need, you know, a minute or two for you to feel calm, just do this breathing, okay? Repeat after me. Today, my body and mind are calm. It feels wonderful to give my body this time to relax. I will look for the calmness in today. Okay, take another deep breath now in through your nose and out. One more. Okay, that's a great start. There you go. You know, mamas, it is my belief that the more calm and relaxed that you are, so is your baby. There's lots of proof on this too. You know, being calm is perfect for you, especially during pregnancy for your physical body, but mentally it does something even more, right? It's a very strong feeling when your mind can relax, right? Sound mind, sound body. So it's just gonna make you feel wonderful. So if you're ever feeling stressed, stop for a minute, do an affirmation, just think calm thoughts, okay? Remember to stay calm and relaxed. So what I want to talk to you today uh, is about the whole 40 weeks that are coming up for you. I want to empower you to love your pregnancy journey. I want you to feel that you are on this most beautiful path, a unique one, specifically for you. Each and every one is going to be so different. No two are alike. I'm so excited for you. And if you're just finding out that you're pregnant, 
and if you're following along, uh, this is maybe before you get pregnant, if you've been thinking about uh, getting pregnant, possibly the first few weeks, you know, you've been trying to get pregnant. So you're going to want to take a test to make sure that you are pregnant, right? So the first few weeks right now, your cells are aligning and, you know, the sperm and your egg are getting together. Hopefully that's the way it all starts, right? So let's just take a look at what's going on. There are stages, right, that your fetus will be going through as it grows inside you. So as exciting as it is to get into it, let's just take it, you know, from, from A to Z. There are some women that know that they're pregnant. They just know their body inside out. But sometimes women don't, right? You could be taking a test and think you're pregnant, but you get a false positive, right? But the first thing first, before you go and take the test and everything, let's just um, figure out what's going on here, right? We have dad's sperm and mom's egg. You guys are getting together to create this beautiful baby. It's actually called a zygote. So what's happening is they're combining together to create this beautiful baby and this new human. It's going to transition inside you. It's called a blastocyst, and that's just a tiny mass of cells, all fluid filled. And you know what? It's going to move its way and plant itself inside the lining of your, new, your uterus. That's its home. That's where it's going to hang out for the next 40 weeks. It's a beautiful spot there. So if you haven't taken that first test yet, you know, otherwise known as that very nerve wracking pee on the stick, <laughs> your best chance for an accurate reading is to wait a few days past your period, if you've missed your period. So if you can manage to wait like a week, the likelihood of getting an accurate test will probably be very close to 100%. Um, these days, many tests don't require to use your morning urine, but doing so will actually increase the accuracy. So if you're able to wait, do that first thing in the morning and, uh, and see, what, uh, see what result you get. Okay. If you get a negative result, don't lose hope though, because there's a lot of times the hormone HCG in your urine isn't strong enough yet. So you may have to wait a few days for that to actually show up. So you're going to want to maybe wait a little bit longer or redo the test again. I know how exciting it is though, especially when you've been planning this, right? You know, there's, there's a big difference between planning the pregnancy and then just all of a sudden, you know, whoa, I'm, I'm pregnant. I mean, it's good, but uh, it's, it's very different. You are going to notice the subtle changes in your body right away, but you will want to get your test right away to know um, what the answer is. So, you know, it's been different for many women. I've kind of looked up some um, results on Google here about what women have done and what they've gone through. Where's my glasses here? Um, anyways, I can't find it. But this one lady says she knew before she even took the test that she was pregnant, but she took the test just to make sure um, because, you know, you want to definitely know for sure. Another lady uh, who had three children, she took three tests for each one, and she said she even made her husband take a test <laughs> because she wanted to make sure it wasn't rigged. So that's being very, very accurate. Uh, and another lady said she said she was sure she was pregnant, but the test kept coming back negative. She actually took nine tests uh, and it wasn't showing positive. But so then she went in for a blood test. So you may not want to do nine, <laughs> but definitely you could take the test or you can just make an appointment with your healthcare provider and get a blood test done so you can get um, your result to know for sure if you're pregnant or not. Uh, something I really love uh, to do, and I'm going to encourage you to do this throughout your pregnancy, is to journal. It's part of the self-love aspect for you. You can start a little journal, uh, writing down your thoughts. Uh, you could do it on an app or on your computer, what's ever comfortable for you. I like to journal though. But you can start at the very beginning when you're getting pregnant or thinking of getting pregnant. You could start off with your thoughts, your why. why. Why are you wanting to have this beautiful baby in your life? It's great to do that because you know what? You will think differently later on and you may forget exactly how you're feeling. So every day when you sit down to do some meditation, 
just sit down and start in your journal and put down some information that you want to look back later and share with your baby. Okay, so that's it for today. Get excited about what's happening through to your beautiful body and we'll continue this journey together. Let's do one more closing affirmation in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, one more in through your nose and out through your mouth. Remember how beautiful it feels to be all this calm. Enjoy the excitement that you are feeling with your pregnancy test, but still feel that sense of calm that you have within. Because remember, you've got this. This is going to be an amazing journey. Awesome job, Mom. Thanks for dropping by and watching the show with me today. I hope you really got something out of it. Hey, listen, I just want to remind you that if you are carrying a baby, you also need to be carrying a subscription to our YouTube channel because we're going to give you all the information that you really need to make the most out of your pregnancy and have the most enjoyable journey. And I have a very special offer I want to tell you about. I've been helping moms enjoy their pregnancy, reduce pain, and get the most out of their pregnancy for over 20 years. And I've built an online workshop that I'm doing right now to help new moms really understand the three fundamental secrets that you need to know so that you can go through your entire pregnancy and labor with as little pain as possible. So if you want to watch the workshops and join me, go to havingababy.io. We'll see you on the next show.